Where's it going? Straight back. Charging up a shot. Well, I guess I didn't hit him those first few times. He's angry. Alright guys, welcome back. Here we are. We're gonna... I'm gonna take you through how we uh, defeated the Elder. I'm gonna do the solo fight. Anyways, what you're gonna want is you're gonna want the fine wood bow, which is a uh, tin fine wood, tin core wood, and deer hide, which right now I've already advanced past the Elder, so I'm using my huntsman bow. But you also want to make sure you have your food, which uh, the best you can have probably at that time might be necktails, cooked meat, and probably some honey. Some honey would be good for your healing. The HP to tick ratio would be pretty good for that. And Make yourself plenty of fire arrows, which I've got 88 right here, and I've got some uh, flint head arrows, and I got some regular arrows. You want to make sure you have plenty of arrows, especially if you're doing it solo. All right, and the next thing you're gonna want is somewhere ancient seeds. You're gonna need three of those. All right, so I'm just gonna grab three. I'm gonna put them right up here in my offer or. My hot bar, then you're gonna have to offer it. Now we're gonna travel over to the Elder. I got a portal over there with a little outpost, and we're gonna head straight over there. This all walled off over here, so nothing will be destroyed while I'm gone. If it does happen, I don't know if it does. I didn't want to take any risks. But like I said, you got the ancient seeds, we got our food, my honey's running out, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat a piece of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and head over here and start fighting the Elder. As you can see, we're like right here. And the Elder's ability will give you a, a increased uh, wood chopping for when you're cutting down trees. It'll help you out with that. Alright, so pull out my bow, make sure my fire arrows are equipped. Where's it going? Straight back. Charging up a shot. Well, I guess I didn't hit him those first few times. He's angry. Yep, we're gonna shoot those long range vines that fit, they'll reach across the map basically. And then he's gonna summon some little whips out of the ground. You wanna get the heck out of there. I use these pillars to dodge him. I don't know why he's just rolling at me. He's trying to stomp me. Definitely don't want to be up close. I like to fire arrows because they do continuous damage. Alright, run. Oh man, I'm almost out of stamina. And that hurt. If you can get right behind the pillars in time, they don't hurt you. Good way to stay out of the way. You also want to watch out for the roots he summoned. And you're going to have some shamans after you, or gray dwarfs, or whatever he feels like, or whatever it feels like coming out of the wood, woods at the time. I have no idea what he's shooting at, but it's a good thing he's shooting over there. I think it's because the pillar was in his way, so he had to shoot that way. Yeah, stay over there. Let me regain my stamina. Need my stamina back! What is he aiming for? He's just like doing a spread shot? You can chop these vines down if you want to, if they're bothering you, but I don't waste my time. I focus all my damage on him. And if you look at his health bar, it takes a second. Now see, this is why I like the honey, because once you start eating it, it'll start healing you up pretty quick. Let's see if I can get more shot in before these vines get in my way. Almost got hit by those, and I got hit by that. Yeah, he's trying to get a general area. He's like, I'm going to shoot the whole woods. Waiting on my stamina. That's the biggest thing I'm fighting is my stamina. 
Whoops. Ouchies. Nope, not going that way. He doesn't like me. Stop summoning your vines. That's annoying. I'm taking some damage. I need to stop taking damage and get so risky. We still got a minute. Alright, yeah, come here, buddy. Oh, shockwave hurts, I guess. Did not know that. Alright, we learned something new. Even if you get away from it, you can still get hurt by the shockwaves. That's a lot of vines. And he's a shooting me. Alright, one here. Another meat stick. You could also, too, go to sleep the night before and get the well rested bonus and make sure you're fully rested and get some extra health. I'm actually going to switch over to my flare. I was going to see how much damage that's doing. Is that doing more? I don't remember. Uh, it looks like it. 44? I don't think I hit 44 yet. Get away from me. I don't like you. We're not friends. You want to always keep an eye on your stamina. Especially bone mass. When you're fighting bone mass, it switches to the other boss you're going to be fighting after the Elder. He is a pain in the ass. Alright, stay over there. Ouch. I've also got bronze armor on, so that's kind of helped me out a little bit. You you can get bronze armor before you even fight him pretty easily. Just use your pickaxe that you get from uh, being able to craft and beating the first boss. And these little vines do have some range on them, so watch out for those. I recommend fire arrows because they're the easiest to make. Along with flint arrows, they're not too bad. You also need feathers for those too. Just farm you up some feathers, farm you up some resin, get you some fire, farm you up some, uh... Look at that. Plop. He's dead. Well, spawn already. Or not spawn, but despawn. Explode. Alright, I got the Elder Trophy and a Swamp Key. That right there. You're gonna go put that on your sacrificial stones, and you've got your swamp key so you can open up crypts. That's it for the boss battle. And if you want to watch more of my Valheim videos, just click on them as they're showing up. That's it. Thanks for watching.